Hello, hello, you guys. I'm so excited. I know I'm a little bit late to the party and not quite able to get on my chair. I'm so excited. My dogs are excited, but I'm going to show you guys the entire new IOD um, release, which is, I think, my favorite so far. And a lot of people are saying that because it's absolutely stunning. Going to get my link over to my text people. All right, and there it goes. So it is beautiful. I was at the doctor. I had an 11.15 appointment, and it was about a half an hour drive from my house. So I tried to schedule everything, get every, you know, get it, send out emails, get it posted to my website. And thanks to you guys who have already ordered, I also want to let you guys know that um, all orders over $100, 100 and 100 over, ship free. And every Iron Orchid order this week, I'm going to be putting in a small piece of, hey, Amanda, that's right, new goodies. And they're beautiful, Amanda. I can't wait to show you. You probably have already seen them. I've been posting them everywhere. Everyone has. But I'm going to be including a sample piece of, um, oh, I'm holding up my hands and I'm like, I can't see myself. A sample piece of um, an inlay. So you guys could give that a try because I know there have been a lot of questions about the inlays. And I've done a lot of tutorials. If you go over to Surface Anthology on YouTube, you'll see all my tutorials on how to use the paint inlays. All right, with no further ado, behold the new Iron Orchid. So I'm going to start with the molds. And this one is called Horse and Hound. And look at that. We've got a fox, a horse, a hound, acorns, oak leaves. Just beautiful. I mean, this is going to be gorgeous for fall. And you can see what the molds look like right here. So this one is really stunning, as they all are, and I can't wait to use it. The next is called Village Market. Hey, Shannon, how are you? Thanks for joining me. You're going to get to see all the new Iron Orchid. Everybody's like so excited, including me. When I got these in last week, I was like, I cannot wait to show them off. So here we have a wonderful pig, a sheep, and a cow. And then there's also these really beautiful wheat stalks and some, it looks like dogwood stems. This is just beautiful. And there they are. Look at the little pig's face. How cute is that? So that is called the Village Market. And then this one, I cannot wait to use. You know I love my laurel wreaths. And there's just these branches I'm dying to use. This is called Olive Crest. But look at these branches. They're beautifully detailed. And there's the little olives. Absolutely gorgeous. This piece right here is kind of like the frames, one of the frames molds. It's beautiful, and I can imagine I'm going to be either decoupaging or isn't it beautiful, Shannon? She's loving this one, too. Um, but this is going to be perfect for putting an image or layering. I love to layer the molds. But there's all these beautiful little swishes, little details, and these would be great also for working into furniture pieces. So really, really nice, and look. I just love the detail in those olive leaves. So I'm super jazzed about that. All right, and now we're gonna go on to the transfers. This one is called Cosette, and this is a transfer. It looks, it, I keep getting it confused with one of the paint inlays, and it's beautiful. Now, you'll see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is one huge image that you would match up those eight pages. And it's just delicate and beautiful. And it's got 
type down here, right? Right down at the bottom. It's just really, really stunning. And if you look at the images, there it is on front of on the front of a dresser. Look at this inside of a fireplace. And I love this one on a headboard. So this is a really, really breathtaking transfer. And there's also some type up on the top and in the middle. Some people are using the middle part for another project and putting their own image um, right inside there. So that's stunning. And then this one, and this one is also a transfer. So we're back to our little, our little piggy theme. It's called the Cotswolds. And I believe that's a really beautiful place in England that I think is down on the south, I think. I'm, I always watch all those British shows. And it's supposed to be gorgeous, but this transfer is fabulous. And again, if you put this, you get two big images. Four, one, two, three, four. And that's got that wonderful pig or hog. And then one, two, three, four, we have a sheep. And these are just so much fun. I would put this in a kitchen in a heartbeat, like a country kitchen in English or French. Well, I guess it can't be French because it's in English, but it would just be a wonderful kind of sophisticated farmhouse kitchen. Um, so really, really nice. And down here, I love it. They put it on the back of a piano, and that's what a dark uh, transfer looks like on a darker color paint. It really works. And here on a big board, you know, right in the kitchen, and look at this right on a dresser. It's beautiful. So really, really nice. And that one's called the Cotswolds. Now, this one's really special because it was done by, I think her name is Lexi. So this is original art. And Lexi, oh, it's like, it starts with a G. I'm so sorry, you guys. I don't see her name, but she is on Facebook and she's an artist, obviously, but it's just this collection of lovely, lovely watercolors. And there's something very um, kind of modern and fresh about these watercolors I just love. So how sweet is this? Mushrooms, rabbits, birds, like a little finch. And this one is called Whispering Willow, how cute is that? But look at these pages, you guys. There are eight, I mean, absolutely adorable, just really sweet. And not like sickening sweet. Um, look at the fox <laughs> and his expression, really, really nice. A badger up here, what's better than that? And look at how they've been used. A dresser, we have some artwork, and like a server. Really, really beautiful. So this one is super special, and I'm embarrassed that I don't remember. It's like Lexi Gaynor or something like that, but they're all original watercolors. Now, here's like one of my favorites, and I have to tell you, I have a wall in my dining room that I had a china cabinet on, but we we had a kind of a small dining room, and we've just created a pantry next to our kitchen where my husband's office was. So we took that china cabinet out, put it in the pantry. Amanda, isn't the Whispering Willow beautiful? It's really, really sweet. I mean, it's absolutely adorable. And you could see her pencil lines. Um, she used watercolor and gouache really beautiful really special so back to my dining room I'm thinking of putting this I have to see what the size is putting this on the wall like creating a section I don't know if I'll put molding around it but I need something where that china cabinet was so I'm considering this one and I just love 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 it this is a paint inlay you you guys it's called Chateau 
The colors are stunning. We've got teals, kind of a yellowy green, um, a beautiful earthy red and coral. It's just stunning. And I love these paint inlays. And again, this is eight sheets that would be matched up together to create this image. And what I love too is it's all very, very classical, very traditional. And then we've got these two stags kind of put in there. And I just thought that was so much fun. And um, it's just really, really cool. Shan is saying, I keep missing because of work. Oh, and you, you want that in life? Me too. I, I, I'm like, I want to use it somehow, Shannon. Absolutely. Um, but look, look at it on furniture. Stunning. Right? Here it is being pulled off, the sheet being pulled off. But look at it on that wall. That is like right up my alley. And if I want, I can use, you know, I could just make this go all the way down the wall. You just get a couple of packages because you see how they all will attach, right? They will all just keep making this repeat pattern. Shannon, I'm making deliveries and I have to switch off the app every time I do it. Shannon, I, I, I totally understand. I totally understand. <laughs> yeah, we got to work. We got to do our thing, right? All right. Here is another beautiful paint inlay. Very, very, very detailed. It's called Petite Parasols. It's very kind of chinoiserie, I think is how you pronounce the, the word. Um, it's definitely got this kind of oriental flavor. It's beautiful. And the detail is amazing. It's like a toile. And this one is uh, eight also. And they all go together, right? They all go together top to bottom and across. And you can see here it's used as wallpaper, but look at it on this. This is a server. This is what I did in my bathroom. Um, an antique server used as a vanity. And look at it with that paint inlay on it. It's just beautiful. So this one is called Petite Parasols. Um, and it's wonderful. Little people, animals, birds, and just the most beautiful detail in it. Now, this one, for those of you that really love traditional kind of toile look, this one is called, and I'm, I know I'm murdering these. I'm sorry if anybody out there is like French and they're listening to me. Oh, I think it's called Le Chasse, Le Chasse. Um, it's called Beautiful in my book, how's that? But look, look at these little, um, the images of the children. And if you turn this over, this one's really special. They all are. But you have two um, kind of sections. The first four pages go together as this beautiful image here, right? So that all goes together. And then you have these four separate um images or motifs, right? And look at it. So this one being used on a dresser front. Oh, it's spectacular. I just love it. And here they are on, again, a server. And you guys, when you use the paint inlays, it's all paint. So you're not putting um, you know, like a, a transfer onto the paint. It's like the paint, the inlay paint goes right into the paint that you're working um, on your piece. So I just love them. This one is just stunning. And it, this would also look amazing on a wall. All right, now for the stamps that are just a lot of fun. This is 
serpentine, of course, it's snake skin, and I just love it. I just love this stuff. When I was younger, I wasn't crazy about it. I don't know why. Um, it's like I used to watch Columbo and stuff when I was a kid, and you'd see like back in the, I don't know, it was probably repeats when I was watching it, but you'd see a lot of these um, kind of uh, motifs in design back from the 60s and 70s and I just don't know why I didn't like it back then because now I'm looking at it and look at this I love it they stamped fabric and I just think that's so chic and the jeans look at the jeans stamped with this really really beautiful very sophisticated I just love it so that's called serpentine and this on furniture would be stunning. And then the next one is called Catwalk. And look at this. Isn't it wonderful? Um, so this is what? Like a cheetah, a cougar. But look at the wall. Oh my God. It's just dreamy. And again, on pants. I love that idea. So much fun. And then lastly... This one's called Bella, and it's reminiscent of an earlier stamp, a stamp that I carried years ago from Iron Orchid, which I love, and, you know, of course, it went out of production, and they have this, and I love this stamp. It's called Bella, and it has, look at this, you can use just, oh my God, that's right, Shannon is saying these impressed into the clay might be really cool. You're absolutely right, Shannon. And I, I, you know, I don't do that enough, and I'm glad you brought it up. But you can use any of these stamps pressed right into the clay. I do the dusting of, you know, a little bit of cornstarch on them. You press them into the clay. And, and yeah, Shannon, thank you for bringing that up. And you can create some really beautiful, beautifulness. Um... But look at just the outline stamp. If we turn this over, it's right here, right? This outline. This is all separate from this. And look at that. And that on a wall would be really amazing. Here they are together on a pillow. Gorgeous. And look, there's this little, very, very delicate trim stamp. And this one on a draw. So this is, you can't see it, but they're down in the corners here. So you get some very, very different looks with this stamp, and that's another reason I love it. And I love to use the stamps, of course, with um, size, and I do silver, gold, or copper leaf with them. So really beautiful. I'm so excited about this release. I think it's as it... it in its entirety, it's my favorite so far. The paint inlays are just stunning. The stamps, of course, an original piece by, oh, I think it's Lexi Genzi, or I'm gonna post it because it's making me crazy. If I did it, I'd be like, you better get my name right. <laughs> but how sweet is that? And we've got some very, very different looks here, you know, kind of old European looks, something, you know, a contemporary watercolor. And I love that the animal prints, really, really sweet. So you guys, check it out. I'm having free shipping for all orders over, you know, $100 and over. And everybody's going to get a sample piece of a paint inlay for all the Iron Orchid orders this week. So you can try the inlays because there's, hey, Kim, thanks for joining me, Kim Rutherford from Farmhouse Craftaholics. You guys have heard me um, mention her. She she is one of the craftiest people I know, and um, she could take something that I find impossibly complex, like making a beautiful bow, and explain it beautifully. Hey, Kim, thanks for joining me. Um, so anyway, you guys, free shipping on all orders, $100 and over, and you'll be getting, for all Iron, Iron Orchid orders this week, you'll be getting a sample piece of an uh, um, paint inlay, so you can try those out and, um, and see how easy they are to use. 
everybody, Shannon, Kim, Amanda, thank you so much for joining me today. Any questions about the new release, please ask me in the comments. I have to tell you, um, you guys know probably if you've been watching me, I've been having issues. Um, and, oh, by the way, Kim is saying these are the inlays she likes. She wasn't a fan of the first one, but she loves these. Aren't they great, Kim? I'm just mad about them. But you guys, I had issues with, I have issues, dental issues with clenching. That's where I was today. It's like to address my, you know, nighttime grinding, clenching, and TMJ. And I actually had Botox put into my jaw. And I had these visions that I was going to do this live because I'm like, I have to go live about this amazing iron orchid. And I, I said to my husband, what if I can't talk? What if they put too much in my jaw and it just hangs open? So I'm very happy that that hasn't happened. And I'm glad I could be here today and show this. I know, Shannon, you know what? It didn't hurt. It, it was like little pinches. I'm not a vain person because she was like, you know, we can always go up here. I go, no let's just do my draw. And it was actually um, covered by my insurance. That's how bad my TMJ is. So um, it was like, Shannon was like little pinches and I didn't even care. I was like, whatever you have to do, I have to, I have to stop doing this, you know, cause it's really, it's painful. And for all of you people that suffer, you know, my heart goes out to you cause, oh, you know, ouch, like Shannon said. But I'm glad I could be here. You guys, any questions, please ask. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Have a wonderful afternoon. Kim Rutherford, wait, she's saying your first cosmetic procedure. <laughs> but it, you know what, Kim? I know. It's like I don't have any wrinkles in my lower jaw. And it was, you know, and they were talking about that while I was in the office. Maybe they were trying to upsell me. I don't know. But I'm like, I don't care, you know, about sags or wrinkles, but I do care about this pain in my jaw. So we got to get rid of it. All right, everybody. I will see you later. Have a great and creative afternoon. Thanks so much for joining me.